Hey what's up learners you are watching online Siksha and today we are going to learn about the periodic table. Here's a fun fact. Do you know that Mendeleev the inventor of the periodic table designed it to reflect his love for the game of cards. To know more about such fun facts along the learning do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. This lecture is based on class 10 ICSE chemistry chapter periodic table periodic properties and variation of properties. Today I am going to introduce you to the periodic classification of elements. Some terms before we start. First is atoms. Atoms are the basic units of matter. Elements are pure substances that are made up of one type of atoms. There are 118 different elements discovered till today. Yes, and you might have to remember all of them. Don't worry, we have to thank the periodic table for it. As you can imagine how hard it can be to keep track of the elements. To solve this problem, many scientists came up with a variety of ideas to arrange the elements in such a way that they display their inherent properties in themselves. To Perenier in 1820, what he did is to divide the elements into groups of three and the groups are called triads. He arranged them in such a way that the atomic weight of the elements in the middle was the arithmetic mean of the other two. Let us understand this with the help of an example. The atomic weight of calcium is 40.08. The atomic weight of barium is 137.33. The arithmetic mean of these becomes 88.705. The element that has atomic weight closest to this is strontium. And calcium, strontium and barium are put in one triad. Another fact, do you know that the strontium burns with a bright red color and hence it is used in firecrackers. So next time you see a bright red flare of rocket cracker on the sky, thank the discovery of strontium. In 1865, Newland suggested that the elements should be arranged in the increasing order of their atomic mass. He said that every eighth element beginning from any element resembled the first elements in its physical and chemical properties. Fascinating, isn't it? But if that's so cool, why is Newland's idea not used till today? If you know the answer, please mention in the comments below and we will give you a shout out in our next video. Mendeleev in 1871 arranged the elements in a tabular fashion. He is the inventor of the modern periodic table. He proposed that the elements are the periodic functions of the atomic mass. When he created the table, there were only 63 elements that were discovered. Now it has expanded up to 118. Can you imagine that? He arranged the elements in vertical columns known as groups and horizontal rows known as, well, rows. Although his model was effective, it did not explain the position of the rare earth elements and some of the isotopes. Question: Do you know what are rare earth elements? Or do you know what are isotopes? If you want us to make separate videos on them, please mention in the comment section below. Henry Mosley in 1913 put forward the periodic table which was based on the atomic number instead of the atomic mass. He states, the physical and chemical properties of element are the periodic function of the atomic number. What this means is, the physical and chemical properties of elements are repetitive after a certain atomic number. So, the elements in a certain group will have similar kind of physical and chemical properties. Later on, Niels Bohr kept the extended form of the table known as the long form of the modern periodic table that hosts 118 elements currently and it is still expanding with the discovery or invention of more and more elements. This periodic table was a lifetime of contribution by many workers. Their contribution has created a significant impact on the present world. Let us learn some terms. First is atomic mass. The atomic mass is the term suggests is the mass of an atom. The atomic number however is the number of protons contained in the nucleus of an atom is called atomic number or proton number. In case of stable atoms, the number of protons is same as the number of electrons. Hence the number of electrons in these elements is also called as atomic number. In our next videos, we will know more about the details of groups and rows how the elements are classified and what all physical or chemical properties of the elements are changing as we move across or along the periodic table. To learn more, do subscribe to our channel and keep learning. Stay tuned. Thank you.